Hello. Today's video will be about this Sanma YX 360 DL analog multimeter. Um, in case you're wondering, this is a knockoff of a well-known um, design that is the Sanwa um, branded multimeter that is of course released by a reputable manufacturer. This one is a knockoff and in some um, yeah, aspects I would say that it's clearly showing that um, it's not up to the level uh, you may expect but still you have a reasonably useful product. So, all right, um, the Sanwa um, branded multimeter that has the same uh, designation YX360 has been manufactured for many uh, decades by a well-known uh, Japanese manufacturer that is Sanwa. And it's still a model being uh, available on the market uh, even today. Of course, it pertains to different situations when an analog multimeter is better than a digital one. The most obvious one I could think of is that um, for um, a couple of measurements you do not require any sort of uh, battery and even if you use a battery that battery will probably have a very long lifetime because only when measuring resistance you would encounter a situation where you really are going to use uh, the battery measuring voltages and small currents is not going to uh, require the battery so there might be situations where uh, an analog multimeter is better and also the fact that you can see uh, variations with um, a certain sensitivity that is still not uh, possible with most uh, cheap uh, multimeters so these are some of the reasons why uh, an analog multimeter may still be useful to certain users so um, i think this is the basic uh, information um, as you can see on the scale it can um, measure um, on the um, uh, switch, it can measure on the rotating switch, it can measure uh, DC voltages, uh, AC voltages, um, resistance uh, or continuity. Uh, it also has an integrated buzzer and um, it's um, having a small current um, measurement uh, capability. In general, with such a device, you don't have to, and it can also measure uh, the amplifying factor of uh, transistors. In general, I consider these uh, informations to be meaningless because right now you're not going to measure uh, the factor of a, of a transistor. I mean, it's almost pointless, and I'm not expecting the uh, device to be particularly uh, accurate when uh, doing such uh, measurements. So I think this is uh, clearly far-fetched. Um, something else that you may be uh, interested in for such a device um, the price is around um, 10 euros or sometimes even uh, slightly less so I'm not expecting a lot of quality I'm not expecting a lot of performance and I have used this uh, device for quite some time so I can reliably uh, mention what is good and bad about it First of all, what is good about it? It has quite an extensive uh, measurement range, especially in um, DC voltages, so it could be useful in uh, certain circumstances when you have to measure um, values that uh, may be in some circumstances uh, beyond the capabilities of uh, some devices. So uh, going as low as uh, 0.5 volts, I think it's uh, very good in this respect. Um, on the other hand, um, the measuring uh, measurement range for the, the current is typical of um, very old devices that do not have the capability of uh, um, determining uh, high currents. So this is a, an issue for uh, some users, the fact that the device cannot probably uh, show more than um, 300 or so uh, milliamps. Uh, current and also it cannot measure at all um, AC uh, currents. So uh, those are the, the limitations. It may go as high as uh, 1000 volts and with the um, 
with a special probe that of course I do not have it may go as high as um, I don't know 10 or um, 25 kilovolts which goes on to show that such a device was probably being used to uh, service also CFDs in the past because in general very rarely you would require to have a high voltage probe without uh, this uh, particular application in mind. Of course there are others where you could be using the high voltage range but uh, not uh, most commonly encountered. In uh, special devices it's certain that you could uh, have a use for such a um, high voltage uh, measurement capability. But this goes on to show the age of this uh, particular multimeters design. And uh, uh, what else can I say? We are not going to use uh, the buzzer feature. I don't think it's going to be uh, particularly um, useful and I'm expecting it to be um, useful to some but not to many. We have the standard um, um, resistance uh, adjustment and um, as far as I can tell this device has a problem because as far as I can remember uh, it may not be um, able to have uh, the full um, deflection of the needle even if with a new battery if I remember correctly um, or there may have been another issue with the, with the device we will see. And I think I mentioned uh, enough about it. The construction um, is not uh, great. I think it's a plastic that could withstand um, certain uh, use scenarios, but um, it's not one that is particularly uh, tough. However, it's clearly better than uh, ones made out of um, a brittle kind of uh, plastic that was used some decades ago, so uh, it has slightly better than average uh, survivability. The probes themselves, I think uh, they are uh, of uh, very poor quality. Uh, I'm not expecting them to make uh, good contact, so the resistance measurements for low values is going to be very poor. Um, the cables themselves are uh, flimsy. The probes, um, if used um, frequently, I think they will um, be quite soon um, showing issues and um, since there is no strain relief in this part, I'm expecting them to go bad near the connection so they may require servicing quite quickly or replacement. Uh, the tips themselves are nothing to write home about. So I think there are more issues with these uh, uh, probes and I do not recommend them and particularly not when measuring uh, high uh, voltages or if you have anything that may be a particular danger to this device. So keep that in mind and it may also not be the case that um, a different kind of uh, probe may entirely fit uh, properly in um, on uh, such a connector because um, dimensions may not be entirely um, compatible. Alright, um, the rest as you can see it's quite flimsy over here. Um, it went on like this in uh, time. Um, I think that the device has around um, 8 or 10 years of age but you can still find new devices with the same design. So I'm expecting uh, the quality not to be uh, particularly improved. As you can uh, probably guess, uh, the contact is not very good. It also depends on the age of the connector, uh, how well the um, flexible metal can um, be expanding. You can probably improve, but I'm not expecting this to be of uh, any relevant uh, use. Alright, so... Um, Yes, I will prepare the device, I will place um, a battery just to show you how it operates in other situations and I will get back and continue this video.